Marines I had, though, he should have switched back to the Baneling production. It doesn't look like he did, though. He's going for the the flyer attacks, they call it the air attacks, for those mutas. Mercil Tur is finally up at my expansion, and in come more mutas for another harass, but this time it is going to be a huge harass. And of course, that armory now is going down, so I can get that second upgrade here and bust out some Thors out of the siege, out of the factories. And down go the tech labs there, and down goes that SCV, and then they focus down this armory, and I do not blame them one second. They are scared of Thors. In comes the Marines, larger than larger number than usual. They are able to take quite a few out, uh, taking quick pot shots while they're going in single file. Tech Lab going back up, Vikings out as well, and the Mutas go back to the base. He's now got a, an expansion going up at the gold, the high yield, and I get a Raven out because I. I always get a Raven out these days for Zerg and Protoss in case they get... Uh, well, Zerg for the creep tumors that I'm sure are along the way. I want to take them out one by one. And he's got Corruptors coming out, so I don't know if he saw my Vikings. Um, and here I am turtling up like a madman, getting massive amounts of... Uh, missile turrets, but I can easily afford it because I've been supply locked so long that my minerals and gas have shot up like a rocket. What I should be doing is getting a third base, and that's why he's checking it. In come the mutas. I do have missile turrets, and just that one scared him off, apparently. Bunching up now, and I don't believe missile turrets do splash damage, so it's not going to do any damage to him. And... He did take the lead in the Eunice loss count. We'll see how that changes over this time. Uh, my first two medevacs out and completely out of energy already because of all of these guys here that had stemmed up earlier. Taking out the, I believe it was a Zergling at the Zalnaga Tower. Raven out so I can snipe creep tumors along the way. And there it dies right away. Banelings dying, there just simply weren't enough for him to take out this entire army. And the marines should be... I don't think the marines were enough here to take out those mutas, but he moved them away anyways. I don't believe he saw that the medevacs were completely out of energy here. I'm trying to take out eggs. They are insanely tough to take out. How, does it say how much they have? It doesn't. Uh, I did slow them down in case the eggs wanted to run away. Um, and then, boom, in they come. He's still got... Oh, morphing in broodlords. Good lord. So I'm able to finally make my first push, and it is a great push. And he is hiding back, and boom, out come six broodlords. And as soon as I see that, I know just, good lord, where are my marines? Get them up and get them going. But I say, oh my gosh, they're all dead. So run, 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 run. Run into the main base and just do as much damage as I can because I cannot outrun these mutas. A lot of them were stopped at the base of the ramp because of those broodlings. And it looks like the rest of my marauders will fall here uh, just taking out... Um, the drones and there goes all the broodlings to die because I have nothing left to attack and he takes a huge lead in the units loss count and he has and I've but if I've spent what is that uh, about 4,000 more in the army and I have less and I have not lost 4,000 more in the army so I still should have a larger army and no I don't there goes my mass down the drain but Vikings are out, so when he comes and he has no marauder or no corruptors, it should be enough for these Vikings to take him out. But these broodlords have a lot of range; they'll probably take out a lot of guys before I am able to run in with the Vikings. Just trying to take out what I can here. Don't siege up your tanks to take out broodlings. No, 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 no. never do that. 
In come the Vikings. He's he's running his meters away, now just coming in. And of course, the combination of the Vikings and the 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 Marines should be too much for him, and it is. These Vikings are doing great damage here. And they're trying to take out marauders that were <laughs> micro very badly. And there goes the last of them. But of course I am now out of marines. And we're almost even... Oh, looks like... No, I took the lead. I can't believe that. I took the lead in the units loss count. And I am still spending like a madman. But I am getting so many... Uh, so much in... Uh, minerals that's hard to keep up but it looks like oh my gosh I've got so much minerals but he's got way more gas than I do and then these munis should be able to take out these marines or sorry these vikings oh good lord this game is awesome I don't remember it but it is one of the best games that I have broadcast yet uh, both of us are making a lot of mistakes here spine crawlers coming up uh, I was able to snipe that gold expansion again thanks to three marauders that survived that are now going to die. So, come on, you've got to die. They're, oh no! They don't finish off the job as I'm running away. I assume he thought reinforcements were on the way. They're not. They're just hanging out there. And Thors. Finally, I was able to rebuild that... Um, that armory, where did I build it? I built it there. I, <laughs> I sure hope he doesn't spot it there uh, because he's been going around this side. But then once he saw this, he probably would. And this SCV is trapped. He can't get out, if I remember right. I did try to move him a couple times, but he could not move. <laughs> Look at the US lost again. Oh my gosh, over 10,000 for both of us. And here I scan. Gonna take out the creep tumors where I can. I don't want him advancing it any further, so I'm able to snipe two. That should put it back all the way to about here. I can't keep the Zalnaga Tower, but at this point, I don't think I need to anymore. So I do have a massive anti-air army here, and of course, that's all he's got, is an air army. So I should be able to finish the job here with these Vikings and... Just in case the Thors, oh, and the Marines coming in. Massive amount of Marines, not many Marauders. But these Thors are scaring the bejesus out of those Corruptors, and they run away. And he is forced to GG there, because he's got no army to speak of, just three Zerglings and two Corruptors, and I believe I just killed them. Now there they are. Two Corruptors left. So that was quite a game there, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I, don't, I didn't lie and say that when, when I said that it was a great game. I thought it was. I never went for that third expansion because I still have so many minerals, but I'm completely oversaturated here. Uh, what is that? 22 on uh, four patches that are left. And those will be down soon enough. Uh, so, wow. Um, really, his switch to mutas is what destroyed him. If he had stuck with the Banelings, I probably would have uh, lost this game very early on. Wow, just doing a bad job of keeping my SCVs in track. Uh, massive amounts of overlords. They would have all gone down. But, of course, he didn't need it. He's 28 out of 114. Infestation pit out. Uh, he never really got that. Um, yeah, Greater Spire, Banley Nest, uh, no Ultras, uh, didn't look like he was going to be going for that anyways, but that would have probably been great because really the only thing they can attack that can attack them are Banshees, and it's hard to amass, uh, Banshees while keeping a, a ground army going. You know, you can get a few here and there, but not enough to really take out, um, like even like two, uh, uh, ultras and those thors is re really what won the game for me i'm gonna call it the thors and vikings the, the tech upgrades uh even though they only got well six kills between the two of them it looks like uh and i had one back here and one that died 
So even with only a slight advantage in the unit's loss, especially in the scope of things, you know, what is that? 28,500 mineral uh, resources total in lost units between the two of us. I only won by about 2,000, but that was more than enough for me to win this game. So I hope you guys laughed, hope you learned, hope you enjoyed it, hope to see you next time. I'm Baller Scuba and I am done for the night because it's almost 4 in the morning. Bye.